is Francis. I'm on. So, I've been wanting to make a quilt coat for a while now. I've been seeing the, the trend float around and it's really cool. So, I went to a rummage sale and I got some quilts. Now, this one is a lot of fun. It's um, also hand tied. And I don't know what fabric it is. It's not cotton. You can feel that. It's like, it feels more like polyester. But this is cute. It's also, it's like a match idea. It's hand tied. A lot of the ties are coming up. They're coming loose though. The back. Ew, the back is a little dirty. The back has like a lot of um, ch pattern, checkered kind of fabric. This pink and this uh, sparkly white. That's cute. I might be able to make something out of this. I might. I've actually never made a quilt coat. So um, I've never even followed something off of a pattern before. through numerous blogs and YouTube videos I've been watching over time. It's called New Look 6585. That's the one I like. That's the one I want to do. And yeah, this is fun. Okay, this is what I'm facing. If I add the hood, I don't have enough room to make sleeves and um, the rest of it. So, I don't know what to do. I might be able to fold the hood down and cut it that way. I folded this part originally. You just tuck that underneath, just like that. Okay, I like that. I think that, that would work.
Uh, yeah. So, pretty sure I know what I'm doing. I hope I know what I'm doing. <laughs> so this is one sleeve. I'm pretty sure that goes right there. And this is another sleeve. I have it like pinned together because you have the lining, the the back and the front. Also, they use like this blanket on the inside. So that's a fun little treat. It should be nice and cozy when I put this on. I'm pretty sure it goes like this. And then you have the two front pieces and then the back. So with the back and the front, I actually cut it using some of the edging. That way I don't have to, um, I don't know, fold it over and bind that part. So the only parts I do have to bind are the sleeves. And then I might have some rough, rough edges on the inside, but I will try to figure that out when it comes. Okay, I got to figure it out. Woo, woo, woo. With right sides together, pin sleeve back sections to back and stitch. So that's this. Okay, cool. I'll take you with me to the sewing machine. that would probably get copyrighted. Um, I'm on to attaching the front to the sleeves. So let's do it.
sleeves I didn't have enough fabric for it so here wherever it is it's on this sleeve I think I had to extend it using like little scraps uh, left over on the quilt but I didn't have enough to cut a whole piece so that's a little fun fact so yeah I will just find these rough edges and then I got cold. cute so it's like Day three, four, I can't remember. Day three. And I have my bias tape in the sleep. Also, I lost my tripod, so if this is a weird camera angle, that's because it is. So, I'm gonna put this bias tape on, and then I'll let you know because. Yeah. All right. And are you ready for this? <laughs> um, yeah, it's finished. I... <laughs> so, I have a enclosed button. That's the inside. Yeah, you don't want to see that. So, Uh, oversized on purpose because like who doesn't like a good warm oversized coat the sleeves I have like long arms I should have thought of that they are too long too small of me here that's my shirt cuff that's where the sleeves fall on me the that part too for something um, there you go here's a close up and then I use this pink bias tape around all the edges. I love it. I mean, I I love it a lot. I love all the different colors and patterns. I love that the pink stands out a lot. And um, I would love to make another one, honestly. They're, they're so cute. Also, let me back up a little bit. This, the, um length of this coat is perfect. I love it. It doesn't go too low, but it doesn't go too high on the waist. So that is perfect. I'm just in love. I, I, love, I love this coat. Um, so thanks for watching. This is, uh, this is Francis signing off.